Roof's leaking. I'm calling Flynn. Thank goodness it's Flynn. Hi, this is Henry Chamberlain, and welcome to our December holiday vlog. Just a lot going on. I've just gotten off the road from three back-to-back -back trips, which ends my travel for the year. And you know, all of those trips are fascinating for the different data you pick up, the different relationships you make, and all the rest. So I'm kind of going to go in chronological order, but got to spend time in Toronto. They have a national advisory council like ours, taking on lots of the issues that are going on. Real push around sustainability, decarbonization, reducing energy usage, looking at other ways to really improve building performance in the marketplace. They're pushing really hard. It's a great learning laboratory for us to see what's going on north of the border. Toronto is a thriving city. People are coming back slowly to offices, but if you were in the city, you wouldn't feel that way. There's traffic, there's lots of traffic in, in and out of the buildings as people are networking, collaborating, um, socializing. They've really redesigned downtown Toronto so people get around and work with each other and get to know each other and create that lifestyle, that live, work, play universe that's out there. So a lot going on there. Their BOMA Best program is thriving. Their building program north of the border. Um, a couple of statistics, I'm going to read them because I think it's very impressive when you quantify what these programs do. 25% energy savings reduction, 36% less water use over the last year, 84% carbon reduction with the roughly 3,600 buildings that are in that program north of the border. So you know, as we benchmark that, it allows us to have those case studies in terms of where we want to go with our product. So kudos to BOMA Canada for all the great things they're doing and also just the information that they share with us on a regular basis and did throughout the pandemic. I was in New York, BOMA New York holiday events, their board meeting, they had a wonderful holiday luncheon, 730 people, they were packed in in New York. So BOMA New York is just thriving. They've got a wonderful new BAE. It was great to spend time with Laura Raphael and Matt Duffy, who of course is the president in New York. And we did some visits as well. We went to SL Green's One Vanderbilt, it's just a magnificent building by Grand Central Terminal to really redefine that community and there are other new buildings going up. But you look at what they're doing with for energy savings and the use of materials and all the rest and really taking carbon into mind and then just working through all the permitting and workforce issues in a city like New York. It's just a defining property there. And one of those companies that we like to borrow some insights from with just a terrific staff and they win awards on a regular basis. Spend time at Boston Properties as well, uh, they participate with us throughout the country, their National Advisory Council, members of ours, and a real focus on not only operations and efficiency, but of course, workforce as well. Um, and then Tom Hill, who's our Boston Properties guru, if you will, NAC member, we went over to the Real Estate Board of New York and really took a look at energy efficiency and the codes. New York's been wrestling with Local Law 97, which is setting a very high bar on energy efficiency. You see that happening around the country as well. So we're sharing lots of insights into what is being proposed, what the regulators are looking at, and then how can we get the kind of resources we need to invest in the buildings to achieve some of these goals. Again, as we create those roadmaps around energy efficiency in pursuit of net zero somewhere off into the future, a lot of experimenting going on in New York as well, which is great. Of course, also, with the major cities, a discussion around homelessness, which they seem to be getting a little better on in New York, crime, property crime, creating those safe communities in cities like New York is going to be compelling to get people back into the marketplace and taking mass transit and all the rest. Did ride the subway with Lori, Randall, and Bob, um, and we felt perfectly secure. There were lots of people out and about, but it is a concern for people out there. And I just came back from a U.S. Chamber of Commerce Committee 100 meeting, which is CEOs from a variety of different issues, but taking on those business issues. And some hopes, the fact that the House is now Republican, of course, the Senate being Democrat means we have split houses now. So maybe there'll be more bipartisan discussion on the issues that are important to us. And of course, we got the infrastructure bill done that way. There's hopes we may do something around immigration, creating a safe border, but also a pathway for the dreamers who are in the country already. So 
lots of good conversation there, but that's going to really help the BOMA agenda potentially next year in some big ways. It is expected the Federal Reserve is going to go for a couple more 50 basis point uh, rises in, in rate. So we're looking at 5% for next year. And of course, we're working through what is a recession, even if the data doesn't say that. And there are workforce and employment issues. One stat that jumped out at me was that with disease coming to the marketplace, they can't compensate for all of the boomers that are retiring a 300,000 person deficit per year going forward. So the fight for talent, people to do our jobs is going to just increase over the coming years. But of course, we're focused on workforce development. But with that, what I want to really do is wish you a happy holiday. Get your tea, your cocoa, your candy, your fire going. Get a really good book and enjoy the holidays and relax because we have a lot to do in 2023. Thanks. Zeus, that is not very nice of you. It's the middle of the night for them. My dear Hera, I play to win. And so do I, Zeus, darling. Thank goodness it's Flynn. <laughs>